Hello guys, this is a video on the descent on the deadlift. Uh, when does this apply? When you're cycling uh, repetitions, uh, when you're swinging them together. Uh, but when you're, but specifically when you're cycling them, so that means that there's no time to set up, right? So it's not. Uh, it's usually a, a conditioning workout that you're gonna be doing this, or maybe you're like just uh, conditioning the cycling itself, right? But still, we're not going for like a triple or like a heavy though or anything like that. Although this would apply there too, but this is mostly for cycling more repetitions. So what will happen when we're cycling repetitions on a deadlift is that uh, uh, the setup, the time to properly set up goes away, right? Like we don't have that. And so it really depends on how we bring the bar down. If we're gonna be uh, properly set up for the next repetition. So the descent is crucial because it's really, it's really your setup, right? Uh, one of the cool things about cycling barbell, barbells uh, with the deadlift is that you'll have your hamstrings already engaged. So that's why for many people, the first deadlift feels a little bit off and then the second and the third, they're like, yeah, I, I feel amazing. And it's just because now you have your uh, posterior chain on. So that's one good thing. But let me tell you what uh, I would like to see when we're working on the descent on the deadlift, uh, you'll see that there is no, is no, there's nothing new here really, nothing that you don't know already about the form of a deadlift, but uh, just thinking about it would actually help your first repetition uh, and it will help you uh, properly set up for the next reps. So let me start with a one good deadlift here. So I set up like always, my shins are almost touching that bar. I am braced before I even go down and then I hinge, go down, grab that barbell and I'm in an awesome position. So this is the position that we're gonna, we're gonna want to be back after the first rep. So I'm gonna lift and then when I come back, I'm gonna do the same thing, right? So the first thing that I did there was hinge back and come down and set that down, right? So that is all that you really need to focus on. So when you're here, the first thing that happens is the bar stays in place, this triangle stays in place, and I hinge. How do I hinge? Keep the knees from traveling forward. I don't want them moving forward. I keep the knees there and I bend them. Right? And <coughs> excuse me. If you do that, you'll see how that bar is gonna come in, a, in the super vertical plane, and then I'll be set up to start my next rep. So, I'm gonna start that again. Nice set up, good brace, down, grab that bar, lift, and then once again, I'm gonna go three, two, back, and up, right? So if I do that, the bar is uh, uh, going to like, just come vertically down and up. What you saw there in the last two reps, uh, was that I was keeping really my feet, my weight on my feet pretty far back. I was really on, on my heels, a little more than necessary. But when you are cycling deadlifts, it's very useful to, on the way down, really use that bar to uh, balance you, right? So the tendency is that we're gonna start just, this is what's happened. I start here and then I just start doing and the bar is in front of me each repetition and then it's all back. So I pump my back really hard, right? And when I'm coming down, if the bar is, look at my arms. If I'm coming down and the arms are forward like that, the bar is here. When I come down, it's all going to be back. If I, instead of doing that, do this, look, I'm not bringing my arms down, they're there. And I come here, I can use my weight my own body weight to lift that bar, which is something that you always want to do in the deadlift, right? And so, uh, you'll see that that bar will be a lot easier to, to handle. You're gonna be able to use more legs and you'll be properly set up, right? So that's, that's uh, the only two cues you need, which are again, the cues for a regular deadlift, but thinking to, uh, about them during the descent is gonna be very, very useful, right? So again, I'm gonna give you the cues as I go. So a nice setup here for my first rep, I'm braced, Hinge, grab that barbell, sit on up, and now I'm gonna sit on my imaginary chair. So three, two, one, but back, 
and my weight is on my heels. That is it. So when you're cycling that, uh, that uh, deadlift, it's gonna take a lot of effort and concentration to do that consciously at the beginning. Uh, like anything uh, in, in life, when you're a beginner, you're gonna have to think really hard. And as time progresses, it's gonna become very, very uh, automatic. And that's what we want. So, yeah. This, uh,